And welcome back. Today's last day, Utahns can light off fireworks for Pioneer Day in non-restricted areas, of course. But this weekend, we saw just how dangerous they can be. Fireworks sparking a house fire in Magna Friday, displacing the family who lived there. So joining us today, Mackenzie Jones, the Disaster Program Manager for the Salt Lake Chapter of the American Red Cross. Mackenzie, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right, lots to talk about in these three minutes. Talk a bit about the Red Cross's response first off to that firework fire in Magna. Sure, yeah, uh, we got a dispatch call at around 12 a.m. from Unified Fire Authority indicating that a family had been displaced from a home fire. Um, that was just before midnight. Um, we arrived on scene just before 2 a.m. and were able to meet with the family, um, do an intake process, which includes providing initial financial assistance, as well as some comfort care items such as shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, toothbrush, to, to hopefully aid in those first initial steps towards their recovery from their home fire. I think a huge thank you to Red Cross for all the response that you do do for these people that are in such a tough situation, an emergency situation. We also want to ask Mackenzie, tonight's of course the last chance for Utahns to light off fireworks until December. So what are some ways to make sure these firework displays just don't end in any sort of disaster? Yeah, sure. Well, we always recommend that people attend firework shows put on by professionals. We also know that people enjoy doing fireworks at home. And so if that's something that you will be doing tonight, uh, make sure that you set up a perimeter around your home, a safety perimeter that allows space between yourself and your home from the fireworks that you're lighting off. And also make sure that you have a water source handy, uh, maybe a hose or a bucket so that in the event something happens, you have a water source as well as an area to put used fireworks once they're done. Okay, Mackenzie, right, and I want people to know that video you were just watching was uh, the ring camera that caught the video showing fireworks going off in all different directions, even into one person's home. So they are unpredictable in part. Absolutely. Um, what if a firework is lit but then doesn't go off? Does this dud still pose a threat? Absolutely, yeah, and you see that all the time. So make sure that if that does happen, you allow five to 10 minutes um, without approaching the firework. Once that time has lapsed, then go ahead and safely approach the firework, wearing your fire goggles, of course, um, and put that firework in a bucket of water for a few hours before disposing it. All right, you can never be too careful. And what are some concerns for children and pets specifically? Sure, yeah, so for children, the number one concern is just making sure that they're supervised and monitored at all times, especially if they're using fireworks such as sparklers. Also making sure that they're staying behind that perimeter that I talked about and safely avoiding any close contact with fireworks, of course. Um, with pets, we know that this can be a very stressful time for them as they may not understand what's going on outside. And so keep them indoors, maybe close the blinds, turn on the TV or the radio to have a distracting noise and possibly give them their favorite treat or toy as well to keep them distracted and, and yeah. Yes, those loud booms are hard if you don't understand exactly where they're coming from, right? Yeah. Okay, before we go, Mackenzie, we have just under a minute. Let's talk about worst case scenario. How can people prepare should a house fire happen? And again, we didn't have a super busy weekend for you, right? That's good news, but how do we help yeah, people prevent yeah. that? Yeah, so first thing and easiest thing you can do is make sure that you have working smoke alarms in your home. So we recommend testing them monthly, changing the batteries in them at least every six months. Um, if that's something you're concerned about, the American Red Cross has a home fire campaign where we can come into your home, test what smoke alarms you have, and install up to three free smoke alarms. So if that's something you're worried about or just want our advice on, uh, please go to redcross.org slash fire and you can find more information there as well as make sure you're creating a home fire escape plan. So should a home fire happen, you and your family members have two ways to escape every room as well as a designated meeting place outside of the home. And all of the home fire escape plan, home fire escape plan and documentation can be found on our website as well, downloadable and printable. Oh, so many resources people can take advantage of. All of it there on redcross.org. If you need even easier to remember, go to abc4.com. We'll have all this information as well as this interview. Mackenzie, we really appreciate your time here today, um, and we will be right back.